Hello, praise God, friends. And in our today's video, we want to talk about how to wait on God. So let's begin our video in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. And I ask you, please, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have already subscribed, you've not turned on the bell button, please turn on the bell button so that every time I post a new content, you are notified. Very good. Now today we want to talk about you know, I'm in a, a very good place today in Kabale district, a Kabale city, and uh, and uh, we want to share about how to wait on God. So many times Christians face challenge. You're praying to God for something, or God has promised to give you something, and then the problem comes to how to wait. That's the problem. And this is why you find like, there is a couple that are expecting a children, are praying to God for a children, but how they wait for the fulfillment of that is they go to witch doctors. Some Abraham, the wife had to bring the house girl. <laughs> Instead of waiting for, for God's promise of full, to be fulfilled, the wife felt the time has gone and brought the house girl to Abraham. And Abraham made her pregnant. And you know, up to today, the world is still suffering from that small mistake Abraham made. There is a cost, there is a price we pay for not waiting on God. So in this video, I want to share with you how to wait on God as a believer, as a Christian. And the first example I want to give to you is the apostles when Jesus told them not to leave Jerusalem as they wait for Pentecost, for the Holy Spirit to come. And the Bible says they were gathered in the upper room together in prayer. They were gathered in prayer in the upper room. So the first way to wait on God, to wait for God's promise to be fulfilled in your life is to wait in prayer, to wait in prayer. For example, God has promised to give you something and before that thing comes, it is taking long. Wait in prayer. Wait in prayer. Wait in prayer. Maybe God has promised to give you a child. Wait in prayer. Wait in prayer for that child. Maybe you start praying. Now this time you're not praying for the child to come because God has promised. But you can pray for the destiny of that child. You can pray for, for, for blessing upon that child, for, for, for whatever. Uh, breakthroughs you want to come through that child. You pray, you wait in prayer. As you're praying for marriage, as God has promised you marriage, you're waiting for marriage, breakthrough of marriage, breakthrough of finances, wait in prayer. That is the way to wait. The way to wait on God. Number two, I want to use the example of Saul and of Paul and Silas. When they were in a prison and they were they were chained as they were waiting for their freedom, for their deliverance, what they were, what they were, how they, how, how were they waiting on God's deliverance? The Bible says they praised God. So the second way to wait on God as a Christian is to wait while praising God. You praise God. God has promised you a job. Now praise God as you wait for that job to come. This is the way to wait as a Christian to wait on God you praise God you praise God and the sad way to wait on God is to thank God you thank God God has promised you something oh you have prayed for something and now to wait on God for that specific thing is you enter in thanksgiving you start thanking God. God, I thank you for that job you are going to, you have promised to give me. I thank you for that marriage you are already preparing for me. I thank you for, for, for the children you are going to give me. Lord, I thank you for, for this blessing that is coming my way. You wait on God it's in, in thanksgiving. This is why, this is why when um, uh, the Amorites and the, 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 what was the other, the other tribe? I'm forgetting the tribe. The people who were living around them, the, the mountain of Seir, the land of Seir, the people of the land of Seir, and the, the Moabites, they gathered together to form an alliance to fight the Israelites. What did the Israelites do? They just went in prayer. 
they went in prayer. Not in prayer, they went in thanksgiving. While they were in thanksgiving, the Bible says God sent an ambush on the enemy. They killed themselves. The Israelites, when they were going to fight, they found this who had killed themselves. The best way to wait on God for anything, number one, wait in prayer. Number two, praise God as you're waiting for God to, to bring that thing to be realized in your life. Number three, wait in thanksgiving. Number four, sing songs, sing hymns, praise God in songs, in hymns. Praise the Lord in hymns. So this is what I wanted to share with you today, my friends, so that we can know how to wait on God. Wait in prayer. Don't forget. Wait in prayer. You have prayed for what you want from God. Now wait in prayer. And sometimes you also wait in work. That's the last I can give you. You wait in work. You put in action what God has promised for you to wait on. Take an example. Um, uh, I will give this example which I watched from a movie. And this gentleman came and he asked another guy and said that two farmers went to pray to God for rain. Then one farmer, he went in the field and started digging while the other one was waiting for the rain to fall. And then he asked the guy, who of the two had faith, believed that the prayer was answered? And it was the one who went and started digging the garden. Because he, he prayed to God for rain, rain had not come, but he went to dig. He went to dig. That means he believed. And the way to wait for, for, for to wait on God was to do acts of faith. Now, how do you wait for God? Sometimes when you're doing something, someone might think you're wasting time because they're not seeing any sign of a breakthrough. But just tell them, I am preparing for rain. God bless you. Let's meet in the next video.